Guys can have it all. At Hakeem Optical, your next report is in less than 10 minutes, but first with the forecast, here is Denise Andriachi. Mostly cloudy this evening, partly cloudy overnight, a low near minus 2. Plus one for your New Year's Eve, cloudy with sunny breaks in the morning, and then some flurries developing late afternoon and through the evening, a trace to one or two centimeters possible, especially through the western portions of the GTA. Our overnight low tonight, minus two. Right now, downtown Toronto, an overcast sky at one degree with a wind reading of minus three. City News Time, 7.04. Happening now in North York, a community vigil at the Temple Sinai Congregation of Toronto to honor the life of an American-Canadian Israeli killed by Hamas during the October 7th terror attack in Israel. Judy Weinstein Haggai was an English teacher who dedicated her life to working with children with special needs. Family members and a rabbi will be speaking at the vigil to mourn her death and pray for the nearly 120 hostages still being held by Hamas. Weinstein and her husband were thought to be among the hostages, but the kibbutz later announced they were both killed by Hamas on October 7th. You're listening to All News Radio, City News 680 at 704. Well, breaking news from the NBA, where the Toronto Raptors are finally finalizing a trade deal with the New York Knicks today. 680's Colin Teske has the details. Our Raptors fans had been curious for quite some time what direction the front office was going to go in following their championship in 2019 and their early season struggles. Today's blockbuster move with the New York Knicks might be signaling to Raptors fans they are in for a retool as they have traded star OG Ananobi, Precious Achua, and Malachi Flynn to the New York Knicks. And coming back to Toronto is Canadian RJ Barrett, who's averaging 18.3 points per game, Emmanuel quickly, in a second round pick. For City News, I'm Colin Teske. City News Time, 7.05. Well, it's a busy weekend with plenty of events, and many of you are likely running errands ahead of New Year's Eve festivities tomorrow. 680's David Augustine has more on how you can prepare for the final day of 2023. Grab your drinks today because some LCBO and beer store hours vary tomorrow and will be closed on January 1st. Grocery stores and most malls are on holiday hours as well. Government offices, banks, and public libraries will be closed on January 1st. You can lace up your skates on Monday at some outdoor rinks in Toronto, however. Now, the Toronto Zoo, Canada's Wonderland, and Casa Loma will be open on New Year's Eve and on New Year's Day. The TTC and Go Transit are helping you get around on New Year's Eve. Both are offering free rides from 7 o'clock tomorrow night to 8 a.m. on New Year's Day. You can visit toronto.citynews.ca for a complete list of all the holiday weekend events. David Augustine, City News. City News Times 706. Goodbye, rain. Hello.